Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, just woke up. The weather is looking like it's gonna be a little bit better today. I'm feeling slightly better than last night. Woke up with a little bit of scratchiness on my throat, but it's progressively getting better. I think I'm just going to take it easy for the morning time because later today I'm meeting up with a friend and he's from Indiana nearby here in Chicago about I think 30 minutes away and he's gonna be giving me a mini tour around Chicago which is really nice of him so he has a day planned out for me and I think I'm just gonna take it easy right now I need something to eat so I'm gonna go downstairs to the hotel's coffee bar called 203 and then maybe grab something to eat really quick and then come back here edit some vlogs relax until Noontime, so I'll see you guys there. Ooh. Why don't you love me? Like I love you. Why do you hide this? What am I supposed to do? Bang, 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 bang you on the floor. Push it the Hey guys, so after being in the room for most of the morning, um, finally getting out, gonna meet a friend at uh, the Magnificent Mile. Um, and I'm staying here, as I've said, at the Virgin Hotel Chicago, and they have a Tesla, house Tesla here, for guests to use up to two miles from the hotel. So that's what I'm doing right now. See you guys there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, that was so much fun. Um, the Tesla ride was super smooth and it was actually pretty quiet, you know, because it's an electric car. Um, here on the Mag Mile in Michigan and Pearson at the Top Shop and Uniqlo, waiting for my friend to come down. I'm gonna meet up with him and then let's get the, uh, the uh, mini tour started. I'm actually kind of getting hungry, so maybe I might suggest to get some food as well. Hey guys, so I am here at the Magnificent Mile at this like cool spot that nobody really knows. Oh, I didn't know about it. It's the Starbucks here at the uh, Uniqlo and I'm here with Sebastian. We found out, so you found me through YouTube or Instagram? Um, well, Instagram and YouTube. Yeah. yeah, and then you told me that you're friends with a lot of my friends back home in Seattle, like Chanel. Yeah. Um, but uh, he lives nearby uh, Chicago in Indiana and decided to graciously be my tour guide today. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. And got me coffee. Yeah. Had, this is my first coffee today. All right, this is big. Great. This is big. But I need to show you the view outside. I'll do an overlay right now, but it's. What street is this right here? This is North Michigan. North Michigan. Yeah. It's like the Fifth Avenue of uh, Chicago. Oh, it's it's big. I tried walking here from my hotel the other day and it was raining. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got sick last night. <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot better. And uh, what's the plans for today? Plans, we're going to Navy Pier. Navy Pier. And after that, we might go to the Baha'i Temple. Mm. The one up north? Yep. And then what else? Uh, I don't know. Probably two. Uh, We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated. Bye. Hey guys, so we are here at this place called the Navy Pier. Um, Sebastian was just telling me that this used to be a functioning pier back in uh, the World War II time. And now they kind of just have the whole space for tourists. A lot of like, uh, I guess, recreational activities and things to see here. There's also a museum. So we'll show you guys around. It's a good time to come because it's not super hot and it's not super crowded. So. Uh, we'll show you guys what we see. What do you hide this? What am I supposed to do? Bang, 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 banging on the floor. Pushing through the wall. Waiting for the call.
We just reached the edge of the pier and fun fact, the length of what we walk from the beginning and the end is the same as the height of the Sears Tower. Um, so we walked the length of that. It might be windy, so I'm sorry if that is. But just got back from Navy Pier and I'm still here with Sebastian and we uh, are at his car and we're going to this place called the Baha'i Temple. It's up north. Um, past Evanston, uh, Illinois, and I'm excited to see what it is. It's supposed to be a place of worship, not a specific religion, but it's supposed to be a really good uh, kind of space and structure, so we'll see you there. 20 minutes away. Here finally at the Baha'i Temple. Let's check it out. Hello! So we just left the Baha'i Temple and it was just such a, an amazing and spiritual experience just to be in the temple and learning about the religion. It's not really um, as well known as other religions, but the basic premise is that it is to unify humanity and to have kind of one common peace, etc. Uh, the I, I wasn't able to I wasn't able to vlog inside and there were some quotes that I just kind of wanted to share with you guys. One of them was, the earth is one country and mankind is its citizens, which is a great quote to kind of tie in all of humanity just for peace and for love. And then another quote that I was reading, it is, so powerful is unity's light that it can illuminate the whole earth. Um, I think that quote just kind of speaks volumes of their message and I'm really happy to have seen that temple over there. Um, apparently there are, it's, it was made in Iran, or back then it was Persia in the 1800s, the religion, and um, there are about eight of these temples in each, um, in, around the world, one in each continent. Oh, that's the wrong car. Oh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, we're gonna go find some food because we're hungry and we'll see you guys later. place called Isla Filipina. I don't even know what area in uh, Illinois that we're in. Got some food, got some longanisa, some um, lecho kawali, bufia, and rice. I, I've been missing Filipino food since I've been here, so I went and got some. So I'll show you what we get. Also, thank you to my subscriber who commented on my video last time, Corweezy, for recommending this place. Ooh, so good. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so full. But that really made up for not having lunch and dinner, so dinner. Um, one thing that I had a question about was there were a few tables over there that had, like, obviously bottles of wine or beer from outside places. And I thought, is that an Illinois thing? So I, I asked, actually asked the lady that rung me up. I was like, hey, um, I'm not from here, but how come people are bringing their own, their own drinks? Is that like an Illinois thing and they're like no we're a BYOB establishment you can bring your own beverage and you're fine so if you want to go in the corner of gasoline station and grab some beers it's all good but anyways 
Um, we're gonna head over to Walgreens first to, so I can pick up some stuff. It's still cold. And then um, probably head back. Oh, and thank you so much for showing me around. I really appreciate it. Had a great time. Hey guys, so I just got back to my hotel room and I had such a good time catching up with Sebastian and him showing me around. I'm really thankful that he took time out of his day just to hang out with me. Um, that being said, I am at hella full right now. The Filipino food was much needed and now I'm just ready to relax for the rest of the Sunday night. Um, before I got home, uh, Sebastian took me to Walgreens. By the way, there's a Walgreens on every corner here. Apparently they're based from here in Chicago. And a Dunkin' Donuts, those are everywhere too. But um, he brought me over to Walgreens so I can pick up some stuff. Although I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday, I wanted some stuff just to help help me relax and make me sleep better, so let me show you what I got. So from Walgreens, I got some NyQuil and DayQuil. A large uh, quart of Smart Water. Some Vicks Vapor Rub, these always make me feel better. Bottle of ginger ale, Canada Dry, because it's really calming for my stomach. Some menthol um, cough drops so that it'll help my throat. And then last, and then last but not least, a couple of bananas. So this is gonna be my remedy for fighting the cold. Uh, thank you so much for following me on day six of Chicago Vlogs. I will see you guys tomorrow when the work week starts. I had so much fun for this weekend and I'm excited for next weekend because I'm still gonna be here in Chicago. I'm here for 11 more days, 12 more days. But next weekend, my cousin Jillian, who you've seen in the past vlogs, is coming to Chicago and she's staying here with me. So we'll have some time to explore Chicago with her. And it's her birthday weekend, so we will see you guys then. Bye.